and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is your boy James, a.k.a. Hollywood J. Black, live in the building once again, back with another Sinful Black Reacts, and I got my mans, my main mans, the, uh, the infamous, amazing, incredible, and uncanny big MF and citizen of Bill, now you doing today, sir? I'm doing good, doing good, doing good. We got the big homie Nick's in the building. Where is boy gifted 39? Um, I want to just say we are we apologize for not getting back to you about the album thing. Shit just got caught up with us and we just couldn't make time for it. <laughs> blame Drake. Not for anything else, because we didn't listen to the album. I just want you to blame Drake, just because, you know. I just because he he's had a ghostwriter for the last, like, 15 years. So. Listen, I'm going to tell it to you like this, okay? Any man, when challenged by Pusha T, okay, instead of going back after Pusha T, instead comes out with a, uh EDM album, and then on his next album, uh, this is Meg the Stallion, instead of, you know, Pusha T. You know, the person that exposed his whole entire business. Um, you go after Meg the Stallion. Because he don't want to smoke. Nope. He don't want to smoke. <sighs> Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Um, that tells you everything that you need to know. Um, so blame him. Blame Drake. For no other reason than he's Drake. All right. So now that being said, now that... The, blame Canada. Blame Canada. That's right. <laughs> blame the entire thing of Canada except where Mercules is from because them the coldest niggas alive. All right. And, and Tom. And, and, yeah, 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 Tom, yeah. And no, Brandon. He, uh, <laughs> okay, Brandon's cool. Tom is no longer in Canada. He lives here in America now. He's no longer Canadian, okay? Um, I... Don't think that's how that works, but okay. <laughs> as soon as you come here, want to live here, and then and then enthrall yourself in America's politics, you're no longer Canadian, sir. You're an American. You're American. Oh. Yeah, you're American. Okay, you, you you hit the three the three requirements to be an American: moving, talking about politics, and being on Fox News. You're now an American, like Hulk Hogan. Okay, I am a real American. I want somebody to remix that one day. But like a hip hop version. <laughs> but anyway, we got the big homie Nicks. We got this gentleman, Gifted Thirty Nine, who we have not heard before. This song is called Rage. Are you raging? Yeah, I'm raging <laughs> internally because they don't need to see my frustration on camera. Listen, we're all frustrated. Okay, ask us how long it took us to get to this video from the time it started. Actually, don't ask. Don't yeah. ask. Because I'm going to post a picture of the lady that says it's been 84 years. So, are you ready, Big Sid? Yes, please. Without further ado, this is mixed with his boy, Gifted 69. I mean, Gifted 39, who's from the better family than Takashi 69, okay? All right, just saying. He's from the better side of the family. He's from the 39 family, all right? We got to trust the, we trust the 39s. And since I'm a 49er fan, we trust the 59s. But after that... The last half of the, the fucking the, the, the numbers? Fuck all. It is rage right here on Simple Black Reacts. Let's go. Well then. Well then. Man, what season? I would have to add this for villain season, by the way. This song. to a hater like I'm on a budget. You can suck a horse dick, slip and fall in horse shit. 
I'ma bring hell to the earth like the horsemen. War, famine, pestilence, and death. If you push me past my limit, then that's what you gon' get. You bring the matches and the gasoline and light a cigarette. Then I'm gonna watch the city burn like Hollywood undead. Cause the city looks so pretty, do you wanna burn it with me? Ayo, hey, gift it. Do you wanna help me light it like the hippie? Dirty jersey, not from Philly, but we flyer getting gritty. You can fuck around and find out. Leaking like a wiki when we rage. So, I want to say, before we started recording today, me and Hollywood talked about our boy Nick's over here. Yes. And how he has found a fucking groove. This dude has been on fucking fire for the last few months, in our opinion. Wow. Yeah, he has. He has. Fuck, man. That is... Listen. So, I will, I will, real quick, I want to talk about... um um. An interaction that happened on the last video that we did. It was rain. What it was rain? Was it washed away? Was that was that the last video? Yeah, 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 yeah. So wonderful interaction me and Nick's had on the uh, the last video because I said the video. I said it was perfect. The rain was good. The only thing that was missing was lightning effects from the background. I said what he should have done is like we used to do when me and Big Sin used to pretend to wrestle when we wanted pyro, right? When we step out the bathroom, we would flick the light switch in the bathroom to make it look like pyro was going off or lightning was going off. And then my man, my man Nix is like, fuck, why am I thinking that shit? God damn it, you need to do my videos. Oh. And so it, the special effects in this in this video are, are, are top tier now. It's, it's like for what Nix wants out of the video, I like it that he's actually taking the extra steps to you like, let me, I'm gonna, I got this, I got this, I got this. Let me add a little bit of this. Like the fire going on, the fires at the right angles where we're seeing, you know, yeah, people was, with the flames. Yeah, I was going to see the um. There's a little, there's a little dangerous effect here with the fire. Yes, because fire is the one of the most uncontrollable things that you can deal with when it comes to these type of situations. So, yeah. and I know they they were on safety protocol twenty four seven with this shit, but I'm I'm loving the visuals here. So, oh, I I love their visuals as well. I honestly think that uh. That it was, um, I, I really like. I really like how he did this. I really like how he did this. This was amazing. Um, I'm like, I, I can't wait to hear what Gift of Thirty Nine is adding to this. I'm not sure if he's on the hook or he got a verse. Yeah, he, Cause he just you know creeping around and shit. Yeah, I love it though. Fire hitting I, stuff. You know, what I'm saying? I love it how he asked Gift of Thirty Nine. Does he want to burn down the city with him? See, yep. that's camaraderie, teamwork. Damn it, okay. Like you can't teamwork. Teamwork makes it burn faster. That's right, because <laughs> you can cover more miles. That's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, real quick. Oh, I'm not gonna pause real quick. Real quick. Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna pause it. We're good. Never mind. Let's keep it going. Gifted thirty nine. In five, four, three, two, one. Why aren't you playing? Oh, because I'm not following you. Okay, play. I break stuff when they grind my gears. I don't really care if you think I'm weird. Hit my face and embody your fears. Give me this legend, I'm breaking veneers. Think Ooh. twice next time you sneer. Dead by dawn, evil dead is here. Reading the Bible, the verses you hear. They call me demonic, but God is a tear. I'm heretic when I'm up in here. Bringing the static like every year. And I'm making you wonder which way to steer. Just crash the whip when I spit this mirror. A little bit of flow, I don't need no beer. To get kind of reckless, next is tears. My best flex is death, no ears. Because I am taking them come too near. Y'all gonna listen no matter what year. This is the gig, we are gifted in Knicks. Like you a kid, we are ready to trip. We not your friends, so no cracking, no nick. Got on my oddity, body them rips. Split up the cash of the family quick. Invest in a pound and pack the splits. If you an enemy, we are the end. Have you not known where the beat began? Baltimore City with a jersey blend. Two East Coast beats, homie, as can. Give me that tool, I'm ready again. I'll cover the bodies with rubble like sin. Father, forgive me for every win. I admit it again, I am better than them, and I never was sending their confidence to him.
So, um, there's two things. A reason why I wanted to pause because I wanted to send you something, but I, I, I was like, I'm just going to send it to you anyway, but I'll just talk about it right now. Um, I'm not sure if when he, when they did this project, um, if anything had changed in the meantime, but, um, G39 Productions, which is the label that uh, Gifted 39 is part of. So actually, let, 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 me, let me let me let me put that on on a shelf real quick. I like Gifted fucking 39. That nigga was sick as fuck. Yeah, he came, he came off on that shit. He came with the double time flow. You know, he threw out the whoop whoop for the juggalos out there and shit. Yes. He but he but yeah, he brought that shit. I really enjoyed that. Yes. So he is definitely. I, w- I want to say he is. Um, I don't want to say he's he's not on Psychopathic, but he's definitely affiliated in some way, shape, or form. Um, his logo is a modified version of the Hatchet Man. It's almost right. so you know how the Hatchet Man has the hatchet in one hand going up yep. like this, right? Yep. So imagine the second stride of the Hatchet Man with a hatch uh, on the right hand going back is the is the hatchet, like the hatchet to the back, and then he has a knife. Uh, no a microphone in the other hand. Oh, okay. So that's pretty cool, though. That's actually pretty cool. It's almost so, like the progression. Now I've killed you. Now I'm gonna spit. There, there was a um a subtleness in the beat during his verse. Yes. At the very end, when he was ending it. Yes. Where the bass got quiet, and then, you know he just he just killed the floor. And it was like, boof, 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 yes, boof, rage. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah. Yeah, that that, that that beat production right there. Yeah. Yeah, so that I was I was really 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 happy to see that 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 they actually but it seems like Nix and whoever does the the post production for Nix does that for the artist. I, I think I think he does, I think it, Nicks all does it all. Yeah. Yeah. I th- I think it seemingly they do that for the artist because this is the first time. This I would be like the third time. Mm-hmm. Because remember we talk about the one that counted the first track and then our boy uh then we had, uh, uh, we had Jux, Big we Coop. had Future Big Coop. We had Jux and um, Futuristic. It's yeah. all been just nasty. They catered. They they really kind of catered to the um um you know th- their audience, which is amazing. But shout out to Nick's man. This dude is out here putting in the fuck of work and I can't tell you how much we appreciate you know you you connecting with us and talking to us and shit, but dude, bro, you're you're there, man. You're yeah. you're finding something special, man. So, I will say. So the the, the other thing I was gonna say. So, G thirty nine Productions. It looks like. Um. It's actually fairly. When you, if you look up G thirty nine Productions and you see the Twitter, right, mm-hmm. you'll you'll notice that the this is probably one of the most integrated uh, juggalos that are out there. Although his appearance is Caucasian, right? If you actually look up some of the photos and stuff, and I think his wife, his wife itself, um, is African American, which is a beautiful thing. But not only that. The the they this the, the the hood fucks with them like they these are there's there's thug cats with face with juggalo face paint on uh, uh, you know what I'm saying like rolling with him and his family. Now what I did notice and that's what kind of what kind of shook me because I'm like I want to hear more gifted. I did notice that he did take a hiatus back in August, so I don't know whether this was filmed prior to the hiatus. Or if this is his welcome back into it, because he didn't post anything uh, after this, after he talked about the hiatus, okay? Um, he uh, uh, he hasn't actively tweeted since the hiatus. Uh, which is interesting, to say the least. So I don't know. So maybe I would say Nix can bring us up to speed. On that one, that's gonna be a, a next question of when, the, when when was this filmed and produced? If this was done after his hiatus, they said in August, then that means that uh, um, that this is kind of his big, you know, well, what I'm saying return. 
right? Like he's reinvigorated because dude looked reinvigorated. Um, so I'm on his YouTube page right now. Uh -huh. He has, so he posted this five days ago. Two weeks ago, he posted a Juggalo Oath music video. Okay. Um, then he's got a, he has actually, here's what actually happened videos. So I think that's his comeback video there. That was three weeks ago. His prior video, pretty video before that was a full EP that he put out, Oath 3900. Um, yeah, so he's been posting on his YouTube within the last five months, so. Okay. Okay, that's good. Well, as I said, this was in August. So this was October, November. This is late August, 822, 2020. He's been he's been on YouTube for eleven years. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Song called Wait by Gifted Thirty Nine, official video. Yeah. Eleven years ago. Yeah. And but that's but remember YouTube was I think YouTube is only twelve years old as it is, so he was there in the beginning. So So Mr. Gifted just got to subscribe for this so we can check out his shit. Yeah, and anybody that's down with the clown is also all my thing. This was an interesting find. I would say that I would first bravo to Nix for stepping outside of his wheelhouse um, and, and getting down with the wicked shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because <laughs> what, what we've heard from, you know, Nix, positive, upbeat, you know what I'm saying? Positive, upbeat, skill-based. Um, shit yeah. that you can't relate, like can't relate. That shit was dope. Yeah, I mean, the shit with futuristic is still a major step up right there. Yeah, because futuristic is a monster. Oh dude. yeah, and then but this right here because yeah. gifted thirty nine, we've heard that verse. That was a good verse. Yeah, dude. that shit was fire. Like this was that was unlike anything that we heard from most. Juggalo rappers outside of um, uh, who we don't uh, unknown juggalo rappers. Unknown right. juggalo rappers. rappers. Excuse me. Um, so. With that being said, this is this is a must see to me. Like this is one of those things. You, not because now that I know what happened with uh, Gifted and why he had to take a hiatus, and now that I know that he's down, uh, you know, with the clown and everything else, like all that encompassing, this video makes it must see for me because that means that he's in a good mental place to not only come mm -hmm. out with his own stuff but to work with other artists and do videos with them, right? And yep. that's a good place. This is a mental health uh, update. Remember, as we say, when, when it comes to mental health, I always use the phrase, we're healing but not healed. One day at a time, you go through it, you get a little better each day, nothing's perfect, but you try to keep pushing through. So I'm hoping that that's the case with my mans and he keeps pushing through. And I want to invite Gifted39 to, if you want us to check out our any of his other videos, please let us know, you know. Instagram, on YouTube, anywhere. Let us know. Got to go through Nick's. Nick's so great to hit us up at. So, yeah, we got you. <laughs> exactly. So, until next time. That's my man, Big Sin. I'm your boy, Hollywood J. Black. This is Sinful Black Reacts, and we are out this thing. Too sad. Boop, boop.